me by now. Fuck it, it is what it is. Hey, right off the rip, before we even get to the intro, I just want to apologize for the feel on TikTok. Yo, TikTok shut me down. Shit was going too good. Great interaction with people. The live was lit, and TikTok was like, nah, chill. You wildin', son. Yeah. yeah. I, I told you they wasn't going to let it happen, but good, good attempt, you know. <laughs> And we I was on the to, money. Yeah, people don't know you are killing it on TikTok. Like you are thank not missed to get that work. You missed the TikTok, <laughs> man. Hey, welcome back to another episode. I missed to get that work. That's Hawk Von Dame. This is Chin Checkers, and you are you. Welcome. So, right to the steak and potatoes, brother. Cato Plant Benavides. I thought it was good. I thought it was good. But yo, I'm going to tell you this. I had a lot of emotions from round 10 to 12. A lot of emotions. Mm. Because in okay. round 10 and 11, I kind of felt like they, uh, Kenny, like the, the Kenny Bellis, he could have stepped in to stop the fight. Oh, he was looking. You, you could see yeah. it in his eyes. His eyes were like, yo, they were, they, they were yeah. open, open. And he wanted to. He wanted to. And I thought he was. And I felt like I felt like he should have stopped the fight in round 10 or 11. But by the time we got to round 12, I was just like, fuck, you can't stop it now. You can't stop it now. Let, let, let him go. Let him go. But two rounds prior, I wanted him to stop it. But mm. I had up and down feelings uh, in that fight. But I thought it was a good fight. Uh, you know, Plant definitely bothered Benavides early on, but Benavides, you know, he he adjusted, got off his power shots, and um, congrats, he won. He 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 won. Yeah. He clearly won. That, yo, that performance right there, man. Everyone's got to be excited because those were two uh, uh, young good fighters putting it all on the line, and we always talk about cherry picking and all that yeah. stuff, man. Yeah. It was entertaining. The first half of the fight wasn't quite that entertaining, but it was good boxing, at, at least on Caleb Plant's part. Right. Uh, like you said, it was frustrating him. When I'm, when you told me they first made this fight, I was like, the fight's gonna be boring. I thought it would be boring, and I thought it would look the way it looked the first six rounds. Close, and even when David would win, it wouldn't be like a landslide. Right. I don't know what round it was, but when he finally hurt Caleb Plant, it became fireworks. Yeah. Caleb Plant stopped moving and was like, yo, I got to throw some fucking bombs at him to get this Mexican monster off me. And, and yo, they just started, you can't even really say trading because once Benavides gets going, he gets going. He steamrolled them. But yeah. I don't yeah. know how you felt when when he first got rocked, he started fighting more aggressive. And I just wish he would have did that earlier rather than the happen move. He was throwing bombs, uh, Caleb Plant. Yeah. I don't know if you felt like he should have sat on his punches and went harder. Like once he got rocked, I, I forgot what round it was. It might've been the eighth round he got rocked and was like, yo, I'm hurt and then started firing back. Yeah. Do you think that maybe he, he played it a little too safe in the early rounds? I mean, yes and no. You know, it's a round by round uh base type of fight. So you're you winning the fight is round by round. So with that being said, he banked some of those early rounds. Whether he yeah. did it aggressively or not, he banked them. So I'm not really too mad about it maybe you know he definitely should have sat on his punches a little more but i guess he's just worried about benavidez power because benavidez got quick hands too you know he was quicker than benavidez but benavidez is not slow it's not like he can't catch you and you we've seen that early in the fight that you know every once in a while when kale plant try to sit on some of his punches fire was coming back at him so i think he was a little worried with that not so the cut decided not, not to the cut you off yeah he he he, he slow footed Fast hands, not extremely right. fast, but slow footed. And that that's what showed up. My fault to cut you off. No, 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 absolutely not. You absolutely right. You really absolutely right. That's really what it is. That's the perfect way to put it. So 
I thought it was a good fight. You know, I thought Caleb did a good job until the eighth round with the headbutt and the power bombs of started coming from Benavides. But I thought it was a good fight, man. It, it was a good fight. Now, I want to talk about what everybody was talking about. I guess, you know, the team, the announcing team, the commentary team. Did you feel that Caleb Plant was holding too much? Um. It annoyed me, but I don't think it was excessive. It, it was probably definitely borderline that they should have said something. I don't think it was as bad as um a, as they made it seem, but right. it was definitely borderline and it, it deserved the warning. But if you watch Lennox Lewis growing up early in life, you kind of you know what excessive holding is. So I think that was like the borderline of it, but right. Um, I, I actually, it, yeah, it was like borderline. I, I think he maybe he should have said something. Yeah, I I think maybe a warning, but I don't think it was enough to take points, in my opinion. Yeah, you know, because it was a strategy. It wasn't like he wasn't engaging. He was just really just following the game plan. Get off and don't let him get off. Yeah, that was the safe zone rather than slip or move. At, right. he, well, he was doing that. But when he wasn't going to do that, and I guess maybe like needed a breather, he'll just grab him. Yeah. And I actually just, to me, that wasn't the problem. It was just too much inconsistency from him at times to like, he'll box and, and then go through like a wave of moving and playing too much defense. And it was like, yo, you need to be a little more active to win your rounds more convincingly, but then also maybe to get one of those body shot hook to the head that you did the Darrell in there. He was doing punches, he was landing it. I just felt like he wasn't he wasn't giving it his all like when he got robbed. Right. And then to reverse it, I think. Benavidez was having so much trouble with the footwork of him and the defense and the holding that he just couldn't get going. The moment he heard him and he changed the narrative where Plant was like, oh, and, 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 and just let me say this too. He heard him before the headbutt. Yeah, I don't think the true. headbutt was the cause of him getting hurt. He got rocked and I can't remember what punch it was, but it was like, oh shit, he, he buzzed him. And then the fight changed. It was it wasn't as much movement. It was way more holding. But at this point, like I said, his feet is the 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 floor. Right. If you're moving, it's harder for him to catch you. If you're holding him, he, yo, he's a he's a big strong dude, man. He physically manhandled him in, in the clinches. It wasn't even close. It looked like like how you maul your son. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I I, I definitely agree, man. But. Uh, I'm gonna say this to to wrap it up somewhat. Whenever I see these type of styles that Caleb Plant have, um, with the boxing, the movement, slipping, but the consistent movement, and that type of style goes against a guy who's flat footed. I don't know about you, but a lot of times I see that the flat footed guy ends up with the victory because he's expending less energy. He has more or less in the tank, you know, and a lot of times I see that the flat footed guy is just going to walk you down and he's going to wait because eventually all that running around that you're doing is going to get you tired. And I'm not saying that Caleb Plant was just running the entire fight. I'm saying that style, especially if you don't have a lot of power, it, it doesn't last in the championship rounds with a guy who's just going to walk you down. He's not going to chase you crazy. He's not, you know, he got some movement, but not as much as you. And he sits on his punches. A lot of time, those guys end up winning a fight. So when I seen Kato Plant come out like that, I was a little worried because I'm like, I don't know if he's going to hold that 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 same energy all the way down in the stretch. Fight. You know, it, it was a good attempt, but it's hard for anybody to do that. It is. You're right. And that's my complaint where I felt like he should have just went after it a little more earlier because that's when you have your 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 strength, You're, you still have legs, you still have power, you're right. still more dangerous. I think he should have just went more for sitting on the punches and waiting for openings to counter, rather than um, tap, tap, and then occasionally shoot to the body, shoot to the head. 
try to counter him on his way in. So it, I, I don't want to nitpick him. Let, let me not even nitpick him. Good ass fucking fight. Shout out to Caleb Plant for being so fucking tough. I don't want to nitpick because he literally fought his heart out, man. And like you right. said, towards that eighth, nine temper, I bet the this the, the decision. So I won money. I'm I, I, I'm happy. But I was fucking looking, praying like, yo, he's he's really at that edge where yeah. the corner may even stop it or a doctor may come in and stop it and he never quit and you got to give a shout out to that like absolutely being super tough and those final rounds still trying to be in there and go for it shout out to Caleb Plant shout out to the Mexican monster calling out Canelo after that one thing these guys are exciting and bringing great because it's not about the the, the the end result. It's only two fighters in there. Someone's got to lose. And when Plant lost to Canelo, we all kind of, oh man, maybe he's not powerful, have a chin. I think he kind of answered a lot of questions, even in a losing performance.